Okay, so we are going to do another money. We're going to do another money run here, but this time around, no rules, just go. I just tried switching to my shovel so I could grab grab that, and uh, well, I don't have a shovel yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a shovel. No, I'm going to get a shovel for this one. Okay, so we want three, probably three islands. More than that is too much. Okay, so let's let's go nuts. I don't know why there's no music right now, but uh, let's let's just break things as hard as possible, as fast as possible. Well, I guess I'm going to turn on the sound effects just a little bit so we have something to listen to. But yeah, I will also say I realized that I got pretty political on the uh, the last couple of videos for for the millionaire challenge. Uh, for this one, let's not let's not talk about politics anymore. I I realize that right now everybody is like super focused on politics. I am. I try not to let it come out, and I realize I say a lot of stuff that is not backed up by like fact or anything like that. And I also realize it does not actually create a community that is that is good or moral or even that happy. You know, people start arguing. A lot of people start like throwing things around. A lot of people are just wrong. And I'm not like throwing shade on anybody in particular, but it's just like usually when we get into whenever people get into big political arguments and stuff, I don't really feel like it's ever. I wonder what happens. Okay, we're gonna just do this. Somebody told me about this, and I'm gonna just try it. See, am I doing Phoenix right tonight? I can't. Uh, voice acting would actually destroy my voice right now, and that would be a problem. So I wanted to test something. Somebody, somebody had, uh, had said speedrunners straight up just die repeatedly. So we're gonna try that. Just because. Okay. So now that we've got this, let's grab industry. You never talk politics or sports. I don't talk sports because what's sports? Um, let's see. You should act like a story time YouTuber and just talk about interesting things in your life. I try to. The problem is there's only so many things you can talk about. I, I record a lot more than most people do, ever. Uh, which is a serious problem. And I did, did I even... Have I even talked about like what this challenge is going to be? I don't know. We're racing to a million... No rules, exploit everything, go from there. I, I don't know when I hit the record button on this, but I figure I might as well, I might as well, like, acknowledge what I'm up to. Anyway, uh, death equals easy speed run. How does that work? I have no idea. I've never done it before, but I'm going to try it anyway, just because. Um, but yeah, so my problem with talking about my life, uh, during my videos and, and what we're going on, on is, I record for six to eight hours a day, if not more. I actually run out of life to talk about. Like, how wild is that? And I'm sure there's a billion stories that I haven't told. Admittedly, as I get older, I'm gonna remember less and less of them, which kind of sucks. Uh, but like, I will have many of them immortalized on the internet for me for all eternal eternity to remind myself when I'm old and pooping myself left and right. Anyway, uh, let's see. Any gas station stories? No, actually, not really. Uh, it's kind of interesting around here. Not exactly a gas station story, but... I... I, uh... I live in Portland, Oregon now. And... Gas station attendants are a thing. I'm not used to that. This is the first time in my life that I've ever had other people filling up... Uh, let's see, unlocks torches, structures cost less wood. Yeah, we gotta go with that. It seems like such a strange thing to run out of life to talk about. Well, it's part of the reason why I moved out here, because I... For two years when I was in, living in Kansas, I had nothing going on. I would... I would sit and I would record every day. You know, okay, fine. I, I would... I would do some other things. But for the most part, I was just sitting around recording day in, day out. That was my life. Let's see, ever been on a Greyhound? Those usually spawn stories. I've been on a Greyhound twice in my life. Once, I just tried to go to bed. Or, I tried to go to bed. I tried to just sleep through it. And was miserable because I was super car sick. The other time, I was just so car sick, I couldn't even sleep. So I sat there, catatonic, trying not to throw up over everything. But not throwing up over everything, because I actually don't throw up. 
uh, that easily. Like, I can feel super sick, but it takes, like, some serious, uh, stomach discontentment to actually get me to want to spew. So, I almost never actually will, will take a, uh, I will almost never take a Greyhound bus if I can afford not to. The train, on the other hand, usually costs maybe 50% more. But it was always worth it. It was so comfortable. The 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 temperature was right. It was it was pleasant. You know, maybe somebody would sit next to me. Every once in a while, you get that kind of asshole with their their phone propped on their on their you know moob shelf, listening to something. Uh, there was one guy, one guy, one lady, who she had a shelf for a chest. No shame on that, but I know I noticed it because she had propped her phone right there, and it was just blaring. I'm gonna say K-pop. I'm not sure. We, I went to a tech college. I knew this. I knew who this girl was. I knew her name, and well, no, I learned her name after the fact. Um, it was. Well, no, I don't know her name anymore. Anyway, so I knew her name, like, within, like, a month of that. But she was just blaring this music constantly. And it was just so shitty. It, it wasn't good music. But, like, if you're going to be on a train with a bunch of other people, wear headphones. Always. You do not... You do not, you know, just plunk your, your phone on your chest and just, uh... And just turn it max volume and then sleep? Question mark? Well, listening to that garbage. No one else wants to listen to your music. So don't listen to it. Let's see. And yeah, it's super it's super irritating. And eventually, like, somebody else got sick of it, or maybe I got sick of it, I don't remember. Eventually, the conductor, uh, came by and was like, you gotta stop that. And she was like, okay. And then, like, ten minutes later, uh, ten minutes later, she turned the music back on because she didn't think the conductor was nearby. At which point, conductor comes back by again and is like, I'm going to take your phone and or kick you off the train if you don't do this. And I, I don't know if she got kicked off, but she definitely did it one or two more times. And then I think disappeared probably to the food car. Because, like, he actively was, like... You know, verbally, like, haranguing her for it. Which is good. And honestly, like, I probably should have been, like, you know, shut that off. Um, yeah, some songs sound different with your boats than without. Well, I mean, that's, that's totally fine. But don't you... Dare do that on a on a fully book a fully booked train. That's like uh that's like going to a movie and talking on a phone with a friend the whole time. Like, why would you do that? You should never do that. Oh, I got the extra money. I should probably buy an island. Please don't be Oh, it's it's the good one. Yes. I hate it when I get the fairy fountain. Cause that always that always sucks. I mean, the fairy fountain isn't terrible, but it's definitely not great. Now, speaking of uh, gri gripes about people in movie theaters, <laughs> never take your your children that are babies to v Avengers. I think it was Avengers, or. <sighs> Shoot, was it one of the Star Wars movies? I don't know. Effectively, we went to a movie uh, within the last year or so, and somebody had thought it would be a brilliant idea to bring their their small child along, who clearly wasn't even like I'm gonna say sentient enough to enjoy the movie, and got quite upset when the movie got loud to the point where they were screaming. And you know what? Parents just sat there with a the screaming child the entire time it was screaming. Why would you do that? I don't know. I've I've never been able to understand why why people think that sort of thing is okay. And yet they do it, and it is baffling to me. Like shit, read a book, people. Let your kid just hang out. You can go watch a movie when they're older. Or I don't know, get a babysitter. I get mad about these things. 
Like, why? If I'm a parent, my kids are not going outside until they know how to, well, not lose their minds. No. Okay, there's light radio. Uh, there's lighthouses. I think I'm going to avoid... I think I'm going to avoid architecture this time around, though. I don't want to go up for treasury, though. Or banking, which is a bit of a pain. Yeah, speaking of adventures, when I went to see Endgame, someone brought a small child with them, and yes, there was some screaming. Though they had enough common sense to quickly get their child to be quiet. That's good. Yeah, I... God. I, I guess, actually, a uh, semi-relevant story. I don't know how many of you guys saw the American Godzilla movie back, what, 20 years ago now? Might, might be longer than that. I don't know. It's been a while. I, I don't remember it being a very good movie, but I also remember being, like, eight. Like, no, I don't think I was even eight. I was... I was a... I was a weenie little child. I was... I was nothing. And... My dad was like, oh man, we love Godzilla. Let's go see the American Godzilla movie. It's gonna be about the same. It was freaking terrifying. And so yeah, my dad my dad eventually was like, okay, we have to leave, because my brother was shitting himself in terror. Because that movie is legitimately not cool for a six-year-old. Potentially. Conversely, I still have nightmares of spiders from um the Lost in Space movie. My parents should have never brought me to those, but at least I was like... At least I was a polite enough child to not shit my pants audibly. I don't know. I get grumpy about these things. What are the things that are not grumpy? I... Oh man, not exactly in the same vein. Well, not at all in the same vein, but I got to, uh... I'm not gonna say meat. Uh... Joe from Moose and Joe. I got to meet Joe's daughter the other night. We were doing karaoke for his birthday. Which is fun. I suck at karaoke, by the way. I When I sing, I sing like really, really high in my chest, low in my throat. Which means I pretty much can't change my tone at all. So like I could probably do Gregorian chants kind of well. But like if I if I sing, I literally have to put on a different voice. And that's not very comfortable. And it destroys my voice really fast. Anyway, uh, let's see. So... So I got to meet his daughter last week. And I did not realize how freaking small nine-year-olds are. Like, I have not been around children except for at, like, mar uh, at, like, supermarkets. And I've lost all sense of, like, how big or small children are. And so, like, they walk in the door and I was assuming his daughter would be, like, X high. And I had... I was just blown out of the way about, like, how diminutive this child was. And I... There's nothing to say that, like, his child is actually small. It's just, like... I've not been around kids that I know the age of for ages. So it was just, like... That is a small child. That... I understand things. And I realize this sounds, like, actually insane. Um... But, like... Being an internet hermit is actually destroying my perspective on reality. And I can do nothing to change it. <laughs> yeah, Moose and Joe have a child. Yep. Yep. Little nine-year-old. Named Lily. She is adorable. Let's see. Do I go woodcutting? Do I go foraging? Because I want to get... I don't want architecture. Because <sighs> architecture screws me over a little bit. I could head down for shrines. But that would be premature. Otherwise I could get let's get wood cutting. As silly as that sounds. But yeah, expectation versus reality. I mean, I'm not even gonna say it's like expectation for versus reality. I think it's quite literally just like I never go outside and I I don't know anyone else with kids. So like actually seeing a child that belongs to somebody that I know is is a very strange experience when you've pretty much never spoken with another human being uh, in real life in quite some time. I don't know. It was weird. Karaoke was fun, though. Shell really enjoyed herself. I I mostly just enjoyed being there. Like, like I said, I moved out here so I could actually have life experiences again. Uh, 
And I have been. Some are good. Some have been quite bad. Like my neighbors. On the topic of people doing wildly inconsiderate things, my neighbor likes to let their dog out. They haven't been letting them out, like, super late, but they'll just sit at, uh, stand at the door, watching their dog bark at things for a while. And then they, then they eventually bring their dog in. And it's like, lady, your dog is just, like, yapping its head off. Just bring it inside. What are you doing? And I think she gets sick pleasure from bothering the neighbors. She seemed like a nasty person. That's quite scary how tall kids can be. I, well, I mean... Joe's daughter is a, t uh, is a tiny little person. Uh, I did get to meet a fan recently at uh, PAX East. I don't know if he still watches my videos, but he used to watch Scrap Mechanic. Uh, and unfortunately, I'm like terrible at names, so I don't actually remember what his name was. He's the third fan to have ever found me, and I'm betting it was like 6'6". Six, six. I think the first thing I said to the man was like, Wow, you are freakishly tall. Um, or something that, to that extent. I literally had to crane my head up to actually look this guy in the eye. And there's nothing wrong with how, how short or tall you are in life. Like, it's not actually something to be embarrassed about. I wish I was six feet tall, but I'm pretty sure anybody, any, any person wishes they were six feet tall, maybe. Okay, maybe I, at least dudes. Uh, I've known some chicks that were six feet tall and they're like, I really wish I wasn't six feet tall. Which is sad, because I think six feet tall is like the perfect height for everyone. You can reach everything on the top shelf. You can kind of fit in an airline seat without destroying your knees. And it's an even number. Like when writing down your height, you don't have to say five foot ten. Because that's like a whole extra level of like, you have to put the little apostrophe. And then, then the extra ten. I don't know, it's just so much easier to write six. Um... And then you don't have, like, people with, like, you gotta be exactly ten, uh, six feet tall or holder, holder, taller, I don't know. It's dumb. But, you end up with, like, some wackadoos that, that really like that's really like that sort of thing. That, like, only go for, like, six feet tall or higher. And it's like, what? What is this? Like, a children's ride? I don't know. Anyway, or I guess not a children's ride. I guess that makes sense when it comes to, like, dating preferences. Anyway. Uh, let's go back to building torches. Grabbing some of these resources would be nice. But we want to just keep blasting out levels. I should probably go for mining rods. And maybe a little bit of money. But mostly I'm just going for torches. You're going to join the Air Force to be a pilot, but you were too tall for it. Wow, that sucks. I'm going to cook some fish. That's not too bad. Okay. So yeah, I'm not going max speed here, and I should probably start working on that. Yeah, let's let's start working on that. Yeah, I, I've I've known a number of people that were like stupid tall in in life, and it seems like it's more of an inconvenience than anything else. It's got to be cool when you go to like. Well, I've actually had this happen a couple of times when uh when out traveling. Sometimes I will actually be the tallest person in the crowd. And that is actually really cool. Being able to look out above everybody's heads and be like, yo, I can see everything. Like that's that's actually kind of cool. Okay, so let's let's start on those iron ingots. Cause at this point I'm starting to get plenty of these. And I might as well get a better pickaxe instead of wasting all my time here. Yeah, what other weird real life things? Oh, I bought a couch finally. I should probably actually put a put up a, a video or a picture of it. I actually haven't sat on it for very long though, because unfortunately it's down in my base, not my basement. Well, I mean it's effectively my basement. My living room is downstairs, obviously, and it's cold as shit down there generally. And I don't have any of my equipment, so like my desire to be, do I want to do that or do I want to go up? Nah, let's go this way. I want to get the uh, coal from rocks thing. Yeah, prospecting's kind of nice. Maybe. Uh, but it's a super, super comfortable couch. We got it from, uh, is it Pacific something furniture? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but it was like the first couch that I could sit on that I just immediately sunk into and I was like, this is incredibly comfortable. 
We need more iron. It's worth it, though. Man, a two island challenge is actually kind of easier. Three, I think I have to do three, though. By the way, I heard that Hopfrog is adding official support for, uh, for the single island challenge, which is awesome. We were gonna get a couch, couch unboxing stream. No, they actually they actually unboxed it for us yesterday. Yesterday morning. Um, what's gonna happen probably is uh, I'm not gonna do anything for the couch until I can get it upstairs. Currently, it's downstairs, so Shell's grandmother can um can sleep on it in a week because they're coming to visit. And then once they're gone, then I'm gonna drag it upstairs, which is gonna be a giant pain in the ass, and I might like might try and bribe somebody to come help me, like, carry it upstairs if it's too much for Shell and myself. We'll have to see if it's too heavy or too light. Um. Well, if, if it's too heavy. No such thing as too light. Well, okay, too light would mean it'd be, like, super breakable, but whatever. Uh, let's see. But yeah, so we'll drag it upstairs, get it set up in my, my office proper, and then we will do a, a proper couch stream. Where I will just be on the couch. I might even just turn the face cam on so you guys can see me in in maximum comfort lying on this thing. While we play something dumb. Maybe that would be a good uh maybe that would be a good opportunity for us to play Darkwood. But yeah, so I, I don't know. I'm excited to finally have a couch. That's been like my long-standing dream, as goofy as that sounds, on this channel for, like, an exceedingly long time. And it's nice to finally, like, have one. Let's see, we don't need bones. So I could start working on that, but... Bull's gonna be hard to come by. I think I think my best bet is just to keep farming torches, at least for a little while longer. Because while it's not super conducive, it's gonna be... Because we can't get shrines yet. We could get a lighthouse. But they're expensive, and that's gonna take up all of my EXP farming. I'll work on the lighthouse as soon as I have... The requisite amount of coal sitting around, though. I guess I could actually burn some of the, uh, burn some of the wood that I've got here. Let's see. Be careful not to annoy Shell too much. You might end up sleeping on it. No, Sh Shell's gonna sleep on the couch way more than I ever will. Not from, like, a uh, us fighting perspective, but that because she... I used to have a futon in college, and it was really comfortable. It actually had two, uh... It had two two futon pads on it and so it was like super cushy and then I added like a foam pad and like several other things and like a lot of people fell asleep on that thing constantly the couch versus doorway it's actually not a very tall couch so as long as we prop it up on a side it's no big deal it's long but we don't have to rotate it around anything more than one banister and the ceiling near the banister is pretty tall, so we should be able to get around it, no problem. We just might need somebody with a little bit more muscle than Shell. So I might actually uh, have Shell's family help us get it upstairs, maybe. Eh, her dad's getting on in years, that might be too much for him. I don't know. Okay, yeah, I can, I can for sure start converting some of that into coal. But yeah, once that's upstairs, that's going to be nice. Because then I can go get a TV. And then once I have a TV, then... I mean, honestly, the TV isn't really going to make that much of a difference. But I will probably switch my recording style. And it'll be comfy. Bringing up the couch stream. No. We... There's no way I'd actually have, like, a... A recording set up for that. And we would probably break something. Let's see, neighbor beer pay. All of my neighbors are women. Or old. Or jerks. Like, literally the only young dude that I know of on this street is the guy that we reported to animal control because his dog wouldn't shut up and he actually got a citation. I'm 99% certain I would not be able to bribe him.
Shell can hold the phone or something. Shell's gonna be helping carry the couch up. What are you talking about? Let's see. Okay, so we're actually going to be rolling on a shit ton of coal now. Because we just got that perk, didn't we? Actually, in that case, I should probably bust this up. You stop that. I need that wood for other things. I guess I might as well bust this up, seeing as I'm right here. If you're thinking of getting a big TV, I recommend a projector. No! So... I'm not getting a TV for my own enjoyment. I'm getting this TV for business. I've had a projector before. It's not very enjoyable playing video games on a projector. Uh... In anything other than abject darkness. And that makes my recording setup really awkward to work with. I'm sure there are good enough projectors that would do it, but it would start getting really expensive. I'm probably just going to get something along the lines of, like, a, a S Samsung 50-inch uh, QLED HDMI. I'm actually going to grab the... not... I'm going to get the treasury perk. Frustratingly, because I want to get logistics. I don't want architecture. The extra inventory slots and reducing f material costs would be nice. But the double health sucks while I'm farming EXP here. See, 2k or 4k is a real question. I'm probably going to go 2k. Uh, 4k is kind of useless because I can't record 4k right now. But yeah, someday when I have a uh, when I have a proper like underground recording studio, because I'd like to have a furnished basement someday. Uh, but I'm probably going to have to buy my own house to get one of those. Like... Gonna be a while before I can even consider something like a projector. And even then, like, the quality just isn't as good as far as I'm concerned. Not to mention, like, people walking in front of the beam, like, even having that kind of thing set up. I can see it being good, but I also really just don't want a big TV, period. It's not the kind of thing that appeals to me that much. Probably cook all this fish. And then I should probably figure out some money. Uh, actually, no. I know exactly how to figure out the money. We're just gonna get the capitalism perk. Okay, right. Back to making stupid amounts of torches. And then I think once I have that TV, I'm actually pretty much set for everything. See, why not a big wall-mounted TV? Well, currently I'm renting a house, so wall-mounted TVs are an absolute no-no. And I don't want to have, like, a, a wall-mount stand. Uh, when I was in college, I had a bunch of people that mounted their, their TVs to stands, and one guy's toppled pretty quickly, and that was a $1,000 TV down the drain. He was quite upset about that, for obvious reasons. But no. I, I would actually prefer to have two 50-inch TVs side-by-side, side, one for me, one for Shell, with associated recording setups someday. Because uh, currently, she's just on a laptop. And I think if we both had, like, big TVs and, like, comfortable setups, I think that would actually work really well for the both of us. Oh, I should probably head down for shovels next, because we got to start getting bone. Okay, well, let's start making bricks. Because I want to start getting lighthouses at this point. A lot of level ups that I want to focus on. Maybe a mining rod just to take the effort off. Yeah, it would be nice for local co-op. What, the two TVs? Yeah, kind of. I, I don't know. I just... Uh, for example, I, I really want to play Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Now, I'm probably not going to have two TVs or even two PS4s set up for that, but it would be really nice to be in the same room right next to Shell for that one. Uh, I don't necessarily know if she's that keen on Iceborne, but there's a very real temptation for me to pick up a second PS4 for the two of us to play together so that I can actually... Uh, so, Moose, Joe, Shell, and myself can all play play uh, Monster Hunter World as like a group when that comes out. But I don't know. What did Wander say to the guy who tried to remind him about lighthouses? I've said a great many different things. Uh, that said, 
Uh, that lighthouse command is no longer relevant. We hit a million gold, so I'm actually on to... This is a completely new series, which is... Has no such limitations, because... Quite honestly, those limitations are not very fun. Oh god, we need a lot of iron here. I think we'll get mining rods first. Maybe? No, we'll get the lighthouses. It's gonna take a while. It's a joke. Eh. Not everybody's up up to snuff on that one. If I had a basement, it would be your fort. Oh, absolutely. Like, I... I need more of these, actually. Oh, I don't... I don't have enough stone. Uh, I'm using. Yeah, I absolutely want to make, like, my own recording nook. In the next couple of years. Like, especially once I buy a house, I'm gonna have, like, the comfiest goddamn basement. And it is going to be just filled with recording equipment and, like, comfy places to sit. And then, like, two decks, desks just stacked with stuff. I... I hope I continue to be a successful YouTuber that grows perpetually. Because I really want to have, like, just a lovely studio. And I don't want to have to worry about <laughs> too much about paying for it. Because shit gets expensive. Like, buying all the new furniture for my house pretty much nuked an entire month's, month's paycheck for me. Which is not fun. Okay. Let's keep getting those torches. These... To all of the people that I naysayed to about torches being awesome, I apologize so much. They are amazing. And you are always right. Okay, I should probably eat some fish. We'll cook more later. Yeah, the- apparently the speedrun strategy is to totally not feed yourself. Which, I guess I could do, but like, eh. This works just about as well. I still want auto-collecting, uh... Auto-collecting fish traps as an upgrade or something in this game. It- it needs to happen. It is so, so uncomfortable otherwise. 